Hey guys, it's Delisa here, and I am doing a vocal analysis today on Rihanna. So, Rihanna's voice type. I believe Rihanna is a lyric soprano, and her unique attributes are that she has a very cool tone. Um, me being from the islands myself, I feel like even though she has marketed, her, marketed herself to the pop market, I feel like she still just sounds best over... Um, African and West Indian beats. I feel like that's that's her voice. Her voice is a very typical um, West Indian Caribbean um, vibe. And so I think that's really what makes her very cool because it's not often that a voice that kind of has that roughness, that edge to it, that is kind of like a thin, it's kind of thin, but it's kind of rough. It's kind of, I don't know. It's a bit forced, a bit talky, and then the accent, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and then putting it into pop music. Yeah, it creates a really cool dynamic. But I still feel like when she sings um, things that are more zouk, kizomba, reggae, that's where her voice kind of is more at home. That's just my one person's opinion. What are Rihanna's setbacks vocally? Because I know that's what y'all want me to get to, right? What are some of the things that she needs to work on? She's not consistent. Sometimes I hear her recordings and I'm like super impressed. Like, wow, Rihanna has really grown vocally. Like, she's supporting her voice. She's singing big. What? No. I just can't figure it out. She's, I mean, it was great. What? No. I just can't wait it out. Wait it out. What now? she was great on that song she was great on a lot of greats on a lot of her songs but then you'll hear her again and she'll sound like a little cat you know just like a little just whining her voice will be so small and so it makes me feel like she either does not care um about vocal technique or she's not mastering the skills to produce a good sound over and over and over again um, she is one of those singers because I don't really feel like she's this naturally great singer. I think she's somebody that has a great look and has an interesting timbre. She has an interesting timbre, an interesting voice, even to hear her talk. It's interesting, right? Um, especially to Americans. Um, maybe not so much to people from the islands, but you know, to a non-island person, her voice is interesting. So that being said, she doesn't have this huge, big voice, right? And she naturally, you know, kind of talks, kind of clothes. So it would just really take some effort. You know, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure if I think she's a lyric soprano. Her voice is kind of small. I don't think it's as warm as a lyric. Um, I don't know. Maybe soubrette-ish. It's a smaller voice. It's a small instrument. Um, and, you know, she has been successful in stretching it and making it, you know, bigger and making it have presence, but she's not able to do it all the time. And so I feel like she is one of those people that because her voice has a natural proclivity to just kind of be small, she's going to have to... Um, really work at constantly supporting her voice, as any real singer should, really work on becoming um, the biggest version of yourself, the best version of yourself, which means it's probably gonna be stretching her constantly out of her comfort zone um, to be able to sing the big notes and to have, make have her, and to be able to have the vocal presence that, you know, the songs that she sings requires oh that was a lot okay um i don't think that the way she sings is necessarily damaging to her voice because it's not like she's ever really oh well i can't say she doesn't over sing she does over sing um but i don't really think it will be damaging because it in the long run I feel like what would be what's worse than damaging your voice is never really reaching your potential. So if she were to just really study her voice for like two years and just really consistently 
you know, be, you know, be in somebody's vocal studio, you know, and just really stretching, stretching that muscle, stretching that muscle, working that muscle. Um, I think she has the potential to be a very respectable singer, singer. We're not talking about sales here. We're not talking about marketing. We're not talking about um, any of that stuff. We're not talking about being commercial. We're talking about singing. And she could be a respectable singer if she put in the work. So that's how I feel about Rihanna. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And um, I'll talk to y'all soon. I'll see you next week with the next Music Monday. God bless.